yes let's make sure you click oh oh yes and then you oh, yes okay let's resume hi guys the sims here and welcome back to the channel and today i bring to you a decorating video for barbie i'm so excited to show y'all this we had such a good time building this today we're going to be building barbie starter bakery now in the last episode of barbie if you haven't caught up on that girl you need to go do that um but in the last episode of barbie we talked about her basically starting up her own bakery um and really making that hopefully like a good piece of bread and butter for the family because a lot of the finances right now are very unpredictable we have ken who's doing like daytime tv but you know it's it's very slow and we have a lot of expenses and i feel like we're gonna have even more now that the girls are here and i really was hoping avon was gonna be a little bit more profitable but we all know how that went so i brought up the idea of barbie having her own bakery and everybody is so here for it and i'm so excited about that um majority this bakery is really going to be featuring ice Mun mun's new pastry set mod where you can basically make pastries and barbie's um bakery is centered around macaroons and i'm so excited for this and i was so inspired to build a bakery like i just had the urge to literally i was like i have to get on live right now i have to start making this bakery because it's all i could think about y'all like i just kept thinking about this really cute pink pastel bakery and i just couldn't get it out of my head i you know what i'm looking for y'all i really hope somebody mentioned this in my live stream i hope somebody makes the barbie cash register like the one we had as a kid and make it in the sims i would literally melt if someone made that but y'all i had so much fun doing this bakery it gave us a little it gave us a little bit of a challenge because we set a budget if you can see at the bottom of the screen right now the exterior had a budget of ten thousand dollars because just like barbie's house there's a lot of detail i want to add to these builds i feel like i'm finding a lot of builds that are very heavily detailed like i feel like if this was more of a modern build you wouldn't need to spend as much as i did on the details but i did get inspiration from an image and we really tried to mimic it as much I, at first i didn't have the mindset of mimicking the exact picture because you always want to try to you know make it your own thing and of course we have to because you know the sims you can't do everything you see online in the sims so but it was so perfect and it was like the cutest vision ever so we actually did something different this time where we actually don't have a front door i say that right now as you're watching me decorate the front but in the end this build does look a little bit different because I changed up the colors. I made this, at first we was going for this light pink because I was like, the light pink looked really, really good. And while I was editing this video, I saw picture, I saw like clips of us using that darker hot pink look and it looked so good that I actually went in my game and changed it. So the screenshots show the final version of the bakery where it is uh, this hot pink color. But as you can see, this bakery got smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's because I originally wanted to build the entire bakery with $10,000 because I want this to be something that Barbie can look forward to in the next couple of parts. Um, we are starting this thing where Barbie, at first she started selling her own dishes. You know, we had that um, option to sell her her you know her baked goods or her 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 dinners or whatever we had the option to sell you'll get like fifty dollars here a hundred dollars there but now we actually bought the selling table so that's going to be the next part of her business venture she's actually going to be starting to sell pastries from the selling table and then once that gives us a decent amount of money i want her to purchase this lot here which is the starter bakery Another thing I mentioned in the last episode was that I really wanted uh, a lot that can be repurposed and reused every generation for different things, depending on what the goals were in this Barbie legacy, because I think that is so cool to like have a building that can constantly transform and a lot. But because Barbie, because the first generation is housewife Barbie, it is very humbling girl because housewife Barbie, you do not make money. Like, honestly, I feel like whoever you marry, like, 
Ken, our Kenny was already trying to be an actor and you know, that is, a, it's something that takes a lot of time and it's always not a guarantee no matter what. I guess if he was more famous and he had more of those fame perks, he would be able to do things without auditioning and he would just be able to just go in and film and come home. But we're not there yet. Again, everything takes a lot of time. And um, when you're doing this challenge and your whole point, the whole point of it is to give, have a, a, a big family and a nice house and give your kids the best lifestyle. Girl, you need money. We need money just for basic things. We gotta be able to pay the bills. We gotta be able to, you know, make food. We gotta be able to make sure the kids have things that they need. So it definitely is humbling because you have to do what you need to do to make money. So if you don't find you a Kenny who is making a decent amount of money that you marry, girl, you're going to be struggling. And that's exactly where we are. But I am loving the series. I love having our Sims work for money. And I think this bakery is going to be perfect for Barbie. The only thing is we built this on the live stream. If you don't know, we do a lot of the builds, at least the start of the builds on my live stream on Twitch. If you're interested in tuning in girl, all the information is down below. So if you ever want to come hang out with us on Twitch, definitely stop by because soon we're going to be building a music studio and that's like next on the docket. So girl, if you're looking, just hang out, vibe with us, have a good time, definitely tune in. But Twitch was like, Z, <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you, this is not going to work with 10K. As you can see, we, I'm trying to do a lot of detail because I just feel like it's important to have these detailed things. I really want generation one to resemble our childhood toys, our childhood doll houses and you know, things like that. And it, it, it calls for a lot of detail, which costs a lot of money. So as we got into our 10K budget, it became very clear that 10K was not going to work. I think I even saw a comment on the video was like, I had mentioned a $7,500 budget and somebody was like, for that price, D, it's gonna have to be run down. I think that was a, a thing too. So we had to up the budget, unfortunately, to purchase this lot plus the the building on the lot the bakery itself on the lot it is like 17k it is not what i was going for at all i really did not want barbie to have to save up seventeen thousand dollars to get this place but girl that's where we are we do have options of course in my game because i do play with mods that i feel like other people may not have or may not utilize with this challenge but i do have mods where we can take out take out a business loan or we could take out some type of loan and we will be responsible for paying that back, of course. It would just mean that our bills are even higher because we're gonna be paying daily interest plus bills. So it honestly depends on how we're gonna go about this. Personally, I want Barbie to use that selling table for a while. I wanna see how it's going to work for her. Also, we did some play testing with the new mod, the pastry set from Ice Mun Mun. And we also realized that Barbie really needs to get her skill up. There is a new pastry skill that comes with that mod. It is only five levels, but Barbie needs to really skill up a lot to make the proper, like to make the things that she needs in order to sell. So that's one thing itself. Another thing is, I think it's kind of realistic for her to first start selling things out of her kitchen and then to officially start doing like, kind of like bake sales. That's what I'm calling the selling table. It's kind of like bake sales then she purchases this um bakery it kind of makes sense i feel like you know just it's more of a realistic timeline and things like that so that's what we're really going for so as you can see there's a lot of details we tried to do use as much free stuff as possible later on i did realize having the um lot be completely like paved over with the sidewalk is very expensive so i ended up deleting it entirely definitely utilize the debug menu on the gallery because there was so much there were so many things I wanted, like so many signs and details and things like that. I just wanted that we were just missing out on. And I know that the debug menu and live edit can really be your friend when you're making these budget builds. So really was trying my hardest to kind of make that work. Now, you see, we're pulling out signs and things like that. Like this color scheme stays the same, but we just go into more of a hot pink, kind of like what we had at the beginning of Barbie selling her Avon stuff. Um, to mention Avon as well. Everyone is saying we should sell our stock at Avon. Someone also had the great idea of still continuing to sell the Stanleys. 
here at the bakery because it's kind of like how Dunkin Donuts and other places do where they sell their own merch and stuff like that. So the Stanley cups can be really, really cute. Um, but because I have to take the girls to the doctors and I'm pretty sure we're about to get bills soon and just a whole bunch of other things, I think we are going to have to go ahead and sell the, the Avon stock and hopefully Barbie can start making more consistent money. Cause I think honestly, if I think about it, maybe Ken is bringing in a couple thousand dollars a week. Um, from his auditions and stuff like that. If he passed them, like my man's been failing his auditions. Like, Kenny, please, Kenny, please. Now that they have two babies, like, oh my gosh. And to think we still have to get, we still have to have another baby plus get a pet. Like girl, we need money bad. And I still want to try to keep up with the whole theme of basically like giving your kids a good life. Not saying you have to have all this money to have a good life, but you know, it's nice. Let's be honest, it's nice. So that's another thing. But I love this bakery and the inside is very, it is soft. It is more of a muted than it is outside. Outside is very bold, but I love being the pink house at the end of the cul-de-sac, y'all know that. So now this little bakery is in another, is the on the other. It's on the other um, neighborhood across from where Barbie is living. So it's another pink like bakery in the, in the little neighborhood area. And I wanted it to be like a suburban type of bakery, like something you would see like in a suburban town or something. So it's perfect. It's everything I want. I love it so much and I think it's gonna look so good. And um, we're also utilizing another mod to help this out a little bit. And that is the I think it's called Kiss of Fresh or Kiss for Fresh, something like that from Ravishing. Basically, once you put down, it, it comes with like a um, like a plaque or something you put down on the lot. Once you put that down, things that you craft or create, such as food or flower arrangements, things that can basically like that has a time for it to spoil or expire, it stays fresh forever. I think that is great for bakeries because sometimes you don't always want to use the retail refrigerator sometimes you just want to use like a cute table or like you want to use like a tiered shelf or something like that it's really cute for things like that because then you can place things wherever you want and you don't really have to worry about things spoiling or expiring i don't think that's really like the center of a bakery because especially in sims a lot of the things go go um quicker than they're expiring even in like the refrigerated setting so i decided not to even worry about the whole freshness thing and put that lot, put that mod down so we can basically place our goods anywhere. Now, this place is very tiny. Don't get me wrong, it is very tiny. The shop is only on the first floor. The second floor is supposed to, is going to serve as a kitchen and a break room for staff. But like I said, this is, this is a starter bakery. I don't know how big it's gonna get. I don't know if we're even going to be able to expand. Um, I don't know how, what kind of profit this is gonna turn or anything like that. I am going off a whim. We did do, like I said, we did do some testing in the stream because we finished this entire build in one stream, which is unlike us, girl, but we're growing, we're growing. Um, We finished this though in one stream, so we was able to test some things and it looks like, you know, selling bo a box of macaroons, which is so cute. It's so, like everything is packaged really cute, which made me think of the whole bakery was gonna be adorable in the first place because like how Ice Mun Mun like, have it for like multiple servings and like it, ha it comes like on a little tiered tray or it comes in like this little decorative box of macaroons like you would get from like a bakery or gift shop. It's so adorable. It's so cute y'all. So I just think it's gonna look adorable. And this is where the budget was getting very nerve wracking because I, like I said, I was looking at these inspo pictures and I really, really wanted it to be cluttered and exciting and have all these like different decorative things to make it look good and things like that. But all of this stuff was costing money. So um, later on, I did take some things out, like a lot of these decorative things to, to like take up space, basically. I did delete them for two reasons. One, it costs money. And two, we actually needed the extra space that these deck, this, these um decorative items was taking up. We needed the space for, us to have stock because as you can see the bakery is not that big like we have the window we have two things on the window pretty much we have 
window boxes, more or window displays, I guess you could say, but people can still purchase from them. And then on the other side, we have one that faces the inside of the bakery where people can also buy things. I do end up putting right here where we're decorating right now, I do end up putting another like display case there so we can put even more things down. But down the road, I think we are gonna have to use shelving and probably even get more counter space and things like that. But again, all that stuff costs money. So we're doing things, it's very small, very entry level, very like, you know, she doesn't even have a whole kitchen. For 17K, she doesn't even have a kitchen upstairs. So it seems like Barbie's gonna be having to do a lot of baking at home and then coming to the bakery to restock and replenish and things like that. So I think we are a ways, we're, we're some, we're, we're away from this. I don't think we're close to purchasing this bakery at all. Now, I don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen in the series. We don't know if Barbie gonna bake a $20,000 cake. I mean, that's not real, but you know, like we don't know how more money can come to us the game is very random. I let my game decide for a lot of different things. So we could come into some money. We probably won't. I did fumble a bag in the last episode. I could have had them get married for money. And I completely, I completely forgot that her and Kenny were not married. Wait, are they? Wait, they are married. What am I talking about? I didn't fumble a bag. <clears throat> Past dude knew what she was doing. They're already married. So I don't even know why Kenny got that call. Maybe I'm thinking about the bit of, uh, uh, our journey i don't know anyway y'all know what i'm talking about i want them to come into some money however they come into it but if they don't the bakery is going to be our next steps barbie is going to be baking all the time when she can we do have infants so she is going to be her she's not going to have a lot of time for baking but we're going to try as hard as we can to make time because we need the money. But I thought this bakery was a cute little starter bakery and it's so adorable. I love it. I can't wait for you guys to tune into the pictures, but I also can't uh, wait to see what you guys think. Cause I, I don't know, I just love it. And I think it's so cute and it's so Barbie. It just reminds me of like childhood Barbie. Like, but yes, y'all I'm on the look. I'm on the lookout for that cash register. I would love for somebody to make the Barbie cash register that we had back in the 90s and 2000s. And they you, they put it in the Sims and make it a functional cash register for retail lots. Girl, I would die. I would die. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning into this. I hope y'all enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay beautiful, stay lovely, stay in the house. And have a grand, grand day. Bye, guys.